Hello everyone. It's been more than two weeks since a three year old Rapid River girl was found naked and alone in a field. Since the incident, the girl and her sister were removed from their home. Tonight, what police found to convince them the home was unsafe for those girls. TV6's Escanaba Bureau reporter Mark Kalman was in Delta County Probate Court today for a hearing on the future of the family. In Delta County Probate Court, Michael Lavoy and Tammy Fryer listened to evidence that pointed towards neglect and abuse of their children, who will not be named. That it was uh, uh, neglectful, it was um, unsanitary, deplorable, all the words that um, DHS and the police have used that is not a place for young children, let alone human beings, to reside. No criminal charges have been filed against the couple as the investigation is still ongoing, but preliminary findings have shown no signs of sexual abuse and there were no drugs found in the children's system. But police say that what they found at the home after one of the daughters was found naked in a field called for immediate action. Photos presented as evidence show piles of trash throughout the house as well as a wall covered in feces. For evidence, a report on the child's condition was also read. It was severely neglected behind developmentally and resembled that of a feral child. It's going to be very dirty, they have knock and finger nails and toenails and they have hair so matted that it could not be brushed. In the end, probable cause was found for the proceedings to go forward and a trial date of June 6th through 9th was set to determine the civil case regarding neglect and abuse. As of this time, the children are still in foster care and doing well. Mark Kalman reporting for TV6 News, Escanaba.